Hello, Krista. Nice to meet you in cyberspace. Uh, this will be some video feedback for 3.2, and I'll also uh, look at your discussion board post to see if anything has changed. Um, know that from now until the end of the term, you know, I am available either through text or uh, uh, email, and <clears throat> I bid you strength. Um, don't hesitate to contact me. Krista, this is a complete package. Um, I see that you have a PDF as well as uh, the Adobe Illustrator version of your uh, ad. And so I'm going to open up the, um, the ad in Illustrator. Here's what I get. I see that you've got things, oops, I did it twice, <laughs> on their own layers, including uh, photographs. This is great that you've been able to embed photographs. Uh, this will make your files portable and self, or what do you call it, freestanding. Um, and you won't need a folder of high-res images uh, to link to. And uh, it does create a larger uh, native uh, Illustrator file, however, but um, I think that's you know worth the while. Uh, I'm missing something, I think, on the site here. At least it was on your... Oh, there we go. I had turned it off. Now, in terms of typography, be careful about having type so close to the trimmed edge. Um, I like that this is flush left, rag right. It's a little gappy though, so you know maybe close up uh, the spaces here, um, and here too. You know, make that be consistent about small things like that. This, um, I have to say, I don't like distorted type. So you know, perhaps if you reverted back to, I don't mind the outline so much, but if you um, perhaps didn't uh, squash it. And uh, the drop shadow is, I think the color is pleasant. It borrows from the photograph you've used. Think about using uh, maybe fewer ornaments. Um, you, you could change the scale of this little motif here. Let's see if I can get... Nope. Is it this one? Yeah. Hmm. Is it locked? Well, anyway, what I was going to suggest is that this... Oops. I had it for a second there. Uh, be quite your silhouette be quite large. And hmm. okay, well you get the idea. I was going to change that up. Uh, you do you do have the correct vector logo. Uh, some more overlap, I guess, is what I was going to suggest. An asymmetrical arrangement. Play around with your ingredients. You know, now that you've got them so nicely on their layers, um, it's easy to shift things around. And think about modern ways of reaching an URL, which would include, say, maybe a QR code. Don't want to junk it up. I think the minimum of ingredients is good. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I look forward to seeing how you animate this.